G'day and welcome to Otter Solutions. I'm Tristan Dialdis. In this educational lecture, I will help you gain an understanding about ResNet. ResNet, short for Residual Neural Network, is a deep learning architecture that was introduced to address the challenge of training very deep neural networks. It was proposed by Kai Ming Hei, Xing Yu Zhang, Xiao Qing Ren, and Jian Sun in their 2015 paper, Deep Residual Learning for Image Recognition. This paper is a result of their findings competing in the ImageNet 2015 competition, a contest to compare individuals and teams' developments in computer vision. The basis of ResNet are layers of convolutions and skip connections, which we will discuss. The main idea behind ResNet stems from the observation that deeper neural networks often suffer from the vanishing gradient problem during training. As a network gets deeper, for example, adding more layers as shown in this figure, the gradients of the loss function tend to become extremely small, making it difficult for the network to learn effectively. To mitigate this issue, ResNet introduces the concept of residual blocks with skip connections, or also called shortcut connections. Here's how a typical residual block works. There is some input here denoted as x. It can go one of two ways depending on the activation function. The first and traditional way is through a series of convolution layers, typically two or more which aim to learn the transformation that maps the input x to some desired output. Or in other words, think about this as a classification problem. The input is an image and the output is a classifier. The second path you see here is a shortcut or skip connection that directly connects the input x to the output of the block. The skip connection is also called the identity shortcut because it bypasses the convolutional layer and allows the original input to flow directly to the output. Finally, the output of the convolutional layers is added to the original input. Mathematically, the output of the residual block can be represented as fx plus x, where fx represents the learned transformation from the convolutional layers. By using this shortcut or residual connection, ResNet ensures that the convolutional layers learn only the incremental changes or residuals needed to refine the input, rather than trying to learn the complete transformation. This helps in alleviating the vanishing gradient problem since the gradient can flow through the shortcut connection, allowing easier learning of the identity mapping. The key benefit of ResNet is that it allows the creation of much deeper neural networks. For example, 50, 101, or even 152 layers that can still be effectively trained. Before ResNet, it was challenging to train such deep networks. ResNet skip connections make it possible to train deep networks without significant performance degradation. The original architecture of ResNet includes various configurations such as ResNet 34. The deeper variants typically offer higher accuracy at the cost of increased computational complexity. Overall, ResNet has become one of the most influential deep learning architectures, forming the basis for various computer vision tasks and achieving state-of-the-art results on several benchmark datasets. The last thing I have for you is bonus. A biological representation of ResNet. In early 2023, a group of researchers, Michael Winding et al., published a paper on their findings after mapping the synapses of ants, basically the structure of ants' brains, and found a ResNet-like structure. Specifically, they said, the brain's most recurrent circuits comprise the input and output neurons of the learning center. Some structural features, including multi-layer shortcuts and nested recurrent loops, resembled state-of-the-art deep learning architectures. Again, my name is Tristan Dialvis. Thank you for listening. I hope this elevated your understanding into residual neural networks. I'm available for tutoring, consulting, and contract work. If you would like to contact me, you may do so by either commenting below, use my website's contact form at autosolutions.com, or find my email in the About section of this YouTube channel. Have a wonderful day.